Hello, YouTubers. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on this 2003 Nissan Altima 3.5. Uh, it's a car that I've had for a long time and I donated it to uh, this uh, family. And uh, I still come around and help them with it. But uh, I'm going to have my grandson uh, do the oil change. And uh, he's been away for a little bit because uh, he's been working and he had school. But he finally found some time to come help me do this. So I'm not going to really coach him on anything. I'm going to let him do it by himself and I'll help him when he does something that, you know, it's incorrect. I just want to make this video to show people that not everybody knows, you know, how to do an oil change. So, you know, for a beginner, this would be a great video. Okay, he's about to jack it up and I'm going to let him uh, do it by himself and I'll check and see if he's jacking it up from the proper place. And right here, I did cheat on this. I told him to block the wheel chalk it and we'll see where he puts the jack and this isn't to make fun of him this is just to show you how when somebody's doing something for the first time they're not going to know exactly you know what to do all right we already ran into our first little problem or question which is no biggie uh he's asking me where do i put the jack to jack it up well you want to put it on some area that's not going to damage anything like this the frame Right here, it's got like a little, right here, you see this? Yeah. Go ahead and jack it up from there. So the frame, and it's got a little bump there where you can put your jack on there. Okay, he's got it on that spot. Now he's gonna go ahead and proceed to jack it up. And you want to jack it up high enough where you're going to have enough room. You don't want to be all crunched up in there. So I usually go as high as I can. But he's just kind of a small guy, so this will probably work for him. Now I haven't put in the jack stands. And uh, I've showed him before. He knows where, but we're using these longer jack stands. And you don't think it'll fit on that pinch well. So he's trying to figure it out. And it looks like he figured it out. All right, that'll work. Okay, he's got it right. We put him on these pinch wheels, but uh, he's not familiar with the jack, so he was trying to get it to fit snug. What you can do is set it up there, put the jack back, and it'll eventually catch on there. And if not, you can leave it loose, and then when you bring the car down, it'll sit on the jack stand. That'll be fine too, but this one we can push back a little bit. And that'll work perfect. And he's doing the other end over there. Okay, now uh, he's going to pop the hood open. All right, he's opening the hood. And I hate these hoods that have that rod. It always gets in the way. But we've got it rigged up there where we can we know where it's at. And then here's another, okay. Okay, he's trying to figure out where it goes. And there's a little slot there. And like I said, this one's broken. Most cars, you'll have it where uh, it's, it's already in that little slot. And then up here, you'll have a slot where you can put it. Okay, this had two slots, but he put it in the wrong one. And there you go. Yeah. Now that we got the hood open, he's going to open the, uh, where you put the oil in, oil cap. And sometimes those are tight. You might want to use pliers if you can't get it. I have trouble with this on myself. <laughs> I've always hit myself here when I try to open this one. There you go. Is that easier? Yeah. <laughs> he's just got a fresh haircut, so he looks younger than he is. Okay, now we're going to go down uh, on the bottom and we're going to take off the, uh, we're going to start with the uh, oil filter. Okay, uh, he forgot to bring the jack down a little bit so the car will rest on the jack stands. Go ahead and do that. And we just want to bring it down a little bit where the car will rest on the jack stands. Okay, now pump it up a few times. That'll work. We want to have the jack supporting it and jack stands. In case the jack fails, the stands will protect you. Or if the stands fail, the jack will help you out. 
All right, we're gonna proceed to taking off that uh, filter. And there's all kinds of tools to take off your uh, filter. I've got all kinds here, all kinds of filter removers, these cups. I'm gonna see which one's gonna work better for him. I've got this kit here. It's mostly for Toyotas. But anyway, we're gonna go with this one. I've had that one for years. I bought it from a Craftsman. Uh, see it. And go ahead, we're gonna try to take it off. And it is kind of tricky, this one. You just gotta hold the, there you go. Okay, hold on, hold on. We, I'm, I'm jumping the gun here, my fault. I forgot to put a pan down there. All right, guys, that was my bad. I forgot to put that pan down there. And we went ahead and changed to rubber gloves because I told them we're gonna lose a little oil, so that way we won't get those rag, uh, what do you call it, gloves, oh, full of oil. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, just hold that. There you go. And there you go. He's not used to that tool, and it is kind of tricky when I do it. It's, you just gotta hold it tight, and if you don't, it'll spin. But it's going. There you go. Now you can finish it off with your hand. It's loose enough. And here's where we'll spill a little bit of oil. I see the oil down there. And I make a mess sometimes when I do an oil change. It goes everywhere. Obviously this car has been leaking. Uh, it's leaking from the power steering, so I'm gonna check that out here in a little bit. I've always had trouble with this car. Okay, he's just gonna let it drain there in the pan. There you go, that's it. All right guys, we've got the oil filter here. And whenever you change the oil, you wanna make sure this gasket came off with the filter. Sometimes it'll stay on there. And then when you go put in your new one, you're gonna have a leak because it's not gonna seal properly. And another thing, when you before you put the new one, you wanna take some old oil or some new uh, and just kind of lubricate that uh, gasket and then you put it on the vehicle. Make sure you clean around here. Make sure there's no debris, something, you know, that's gonna not allow it to seal properly. All right, and uh, I told him to go ahead and clean around that area and go ahead. Just to make sure there's nothing there that's gonna not allow it to seal properly. Okay, now get the new filter, which is right there. And he's gonna dip his finger in here and lubricate that uh, gasket. Okay, get this out of the way so I don't step on it. Hopefully it's the right filter. If it's not, we'll have hell getting it in there. Are you going in crooked? Am I? Yeah, that takes a little practice too. You want me to get it? Yeah. Okay. There you go, you had it. It just looked like you were crooked here. And when you put it on, you just want it hand tight. I mean, just tighten it with your hand. Don't use a the tool, then it'll be too tight and sometimes you'll have hell taking it off. Wow, this guy's got some strength here. Wow. All right, cool. That looked tight. <laughs> and we're ready to drain the pan, but I gave him a little more room. I moved the jack to this side, but I always like to have a jack on there too, plus the jack stands just for extra, you know, <clears throat> safety. So let me get him back over here and let him take the plug off and drain the oil from the engine and the uh, oil pan. Okay, now comes the part where he might get all messy, but hey, somebody's got to do it, right? Okay, we have a 14 millimeter, and he's going to get on there. I got a swivel head on that ratchet, which helps. There you go. Some of these are super tight. I've had them real super tight. Once you loosen it up, you might be able to start turning it with your hand. See if it'll turn with your hand. If it does, cool. If not, okay, it does. Yeah. Okay, just be ready because it's gonna come squirting down, buddy. You're far away, it won't get your face, but I hope it won't. <laughs> it won't. 
And when you feel it come off completely, just let that bolt drop. Don't try to hold it or you're really gonna make a mess. There you go. Yeah, you did pretty good. Look, really, just a few drops. I usually make worse than that. See how dirty that oil was, guys? Poor car. Go ahead and take them off and we'll get some new ones. And you just gotta let it drop. You don't have to sit here and let it drop, uh, uh, drip completely. You'll be here all night. Just where you barely have a little stream, maybe a few drips, drip, drip. And then we can uh, put the plug back in. And also when you put the plug in, uh, can you reach it? Oh, you already took off your gloves. All right, let me get the plug and show you what I'm gonna talk about. Again, same thing with this. You wanna make sure that you clean off that area, especially on this car, and make sure that this drain plug has that crush uh, washer right there. Sometimes, depending what kind of vehicle you're working on, it'll come, the filter will come with a crush uh, washer. All right, now we're gonna dig for that. And he's gonna put it back on and he cleaned the surface over there already and he made sure the washer was on there. So now he's ready to start a plug. Make sure you do it by hand and it grabs. You don't wanna cross thread it and then you really be in trouble. Is it going in? Yeah. Cool. Just tighten it by hand and then use the ratchet once you get in there. And guys, don't go super tight on this. Once you tighten it with the ratchet, just get it snug on there and uh, you'll be good. This out of the way. Give me a little more room. And watch said that ratchet don't fall and you hit yourself on the exhaust. Is it tight? Yeah. Okay, that's good enough right there, guys. I'll double check it too. Okay, I just double checked it and see if he tightened it. Boy, he did a good job on that filter and on that plug. Good job, Zachy. Okay, when you put your oil in, your cap usually says what type of oil. It'll say 530 or whatever. This one doesn't say, but on most cars it will say. Uh, but I know it takes 530, so we're going to go ahead and add that. All right, Zachy. Where's the, uh, we're just going with this, uh, what is it, uh, super tick? <clears throat> oh, hold on. And this vehicle takes five quarts. I have it marked on there, and that's five quarts right there. So now hold this just so you won't uh, make a mess. Okay, Zachy got the five quarts in. Go ahead and put the cap. And we're going to jack it up and get the uh, jack stands off. See if I don't trip with all this junk I have here. Okay. Will they come off? Is that high enough? Yeah. Okay. I need to go higher. All right, that'll work. Awesome. Okay, he's got the jack stands off. Now he's going to bring it down. And it takes kind of getting used to that uh, handle. Sometimes you twist it too fast and the car will drop. Good job. So far, so good. All he has to do is pull his pants up. Now that we got the car level, he's gonna turn it on for a few seconds. Go ahead. And uh, let the oil get into the oil filter and then we'll get a, a reading of the level. All right, we're getting ready to uh, check the oil. And uh, this car is very hard to read the dipstick. You just gotta get used to it and know it. So I'll have Zachy come over here and we'll check it real quick. The oil will be all over the dipstick. You wanna uh, get the second reading. All right, Zachy, go ahead. Get this jack out of my way before I trip on it. Let me show him real quick what I meant. If you turn it this way, see how the oil is all over the dipstick? You don't even know where to read it. So clean that off. Okay, let's get that second reading. Like I said, guys, this dipstick's weird. It's always been real hard to check. Do I put it all the way out? 
Let's see where it's at. It's right there on the money, guys. I know it's hard to see because it's new oil, but if you, I'm trying to get the camera where you can see, it's right. Hold it right there. It's right there, guys. You can see the new oil right. You can see the new oil right there. All right, go ahead. Put it back in. And we're good. So we're good on this uh, oil change. Let's put the dipstick back in. And we're done. Just make your uh, oil tag. Put it on the windshield. And you'll know when your next oil change is due. All right, we're done. He's just going to take that block off. And we're done. You're going to leave it right there. And look, he didn't even get dirty except his hand. Look right here. In his, uh, so that's all. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And like always, I really appreciate you. And God bless you.